Hi, Janet with Heather Canyon. Today I'm going to show you how I made a flat lap. So a flat lap is pretty basic. It's just a um, lapidary um, pad on, you can see inside there, on a um, shaft and then that shaft is attached to the motor and the motor turns it. And there's a few different ways to do this. You could attach the shaft directly to the motor. Um, there's a couple of reasons that I didn't do that. One is that if the water leaks from the flat lap onto the motor, it could destroy the motor. So I didn't want the motor directly under it. And also the torque from polishing the stone on the surface could damage the motor. So in this setup, um, I took a plastic container, which I drilled holes in, and I can't see underneath there, um, there's a, down under here, there's a ring that is basically to um, keep the water from going down into the hole. And I drilled a hole down through here and put the shaft through it. And I'm going to tip this up so that you can see underneath it a little bit. So it's kind of hard to see under here. There's a bearing at the top of the shaft and I can't see at the bottom of the shaft and then a pulley and a shaft so that's what's underneath so basically the shaft is attached the shaft is attached to the lapidary wheel and in this case what I've done is I wanted to have it flat across the surface so I didn't want a hole in the middle with the shaft coming up through it so I took an end flat lap and a magnet and I will have a link where you can get the magnet and then I've got magnetic Discs and the discs actually have two sided. Um, on one side, on one side is the metal um, electroplated disc. On the other side, I've put a thin layer of foam and um, some wet dry polishing paper. And this paper is not like sandpaper, it's a little bit different. So I'll also provide a link for that. Um, it's a little bit more durable. And I have this at different grits. So I have a 100, 220, 320, 400, 600, 800, 1500, 3000, and a 7000. Okay. And I can put this on either side. And clean Jane set up. Can make it more fancy, but it basically sits there. And you have the tube. The tube is cocked, and that comes down. And you don't actually want it to touch the lap. So I actually had that sitting up on something, but I don't know what happened to it. Um, and then I have another tube coming out drains it in that silicone. So I will also provide a diagram of this because I put this together before I decided to make a video so you can't really see all of it. But that's the basic premise of the flat lap. And then you turn it on. that 
off so you can hear me. When you do this, you want to put your stone on and you don't want to put, apply any pressure. You want to make sure that it's completely wet and you can move the stone kind of in random directions across the surface of the lap and that helps to smooth out all the scratches. And you want to make sure that at your highest uh, grit it's smoothed out completely before you go down to your next grit. And the more grits that you have, the more it will, the more easily it will run down. And that is the lap. I will include a list of the materials that you need as well as um, some links to the library.